ladies and gentlemen, buccaneering pioneers of the sky. Welcome back to Sim Airport. That's right. My name, of course, is a little potato. Things are going decently well in our uh, in our airport over here. We massively expanded the security area. Maybe a little bit more to do over here um, in the future. Maybe a couple of additional bag scanners if we need that. Uh, the cafe, the cafe, and the kiosks definitely need to be expanded. But you know what? We can worry about that later. Uh, we do sort of have a little bit of an issue. We do sort of have a little bit of an issue in terms of the uh, the bagage. Uh, we need to sort that out as swiftly as we possibly can, really. Uh, and that's what we're going to be trying to do uh, at some point over the course of this episode. So yeah, last episode went very, very smoothly. We got our fuel infrastructure all up and running, and we started making very, 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 very large, obscenely large uh, amounts of money from fuel. Our cash is in a little bit of a flux state at this moment in time. We have got, wow, okay, outstanding principal, 1.9 million. Hmm. Right, I didn't realize it was that large, but when has that ever stopped me from accomplishing great things? That's a trick question. The answer is frequently. Okay, you know what? Maybe since we are in a little bit of a dodgy financial position, I might look at getting some large aircrafts to come my way that's right let's land a few more land a few more that's that's good okay we can't we can't really accept anymore i mean i could accept some small aircraft presumably presumably small aircraft can also be assigned to large stands it's just not going to be super duper hyper efficient but i guess we'll do it just you know as a way to get more money right kind of makes sense all right, because we do have one outstanding large pad that could really do a little bit more traffic. That's gate G1. And I'm going to fix that up right now. All right. Bada bim, bada boom. Let's do the irritating scheduling nice and early. Air Canada presumably still flying those pesky UFOs. Oh, we also have a bunch of evening flights that we need to... That we need to sort out. Also, I want to see if I can try and improve my relationship with all of the different airlines. That is definitely an ambition. The reason that that's an important ambition is because I want more money from them all. It's pretty, pretty gosh darn simple when you think about it. Right. So with those three flights, these Lernyville Air flights are super duper 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 small if I'm not mistaken I think they use like entirely too small aircraft for my taste given that this is a large pad it's kind of embarrassing that I'm having to fill it with smaller uh, smaller aircraft but you know needs must and whatnot we need to we need to make as much money as we possibly can those flights by the way won't take effect until tomorrow now that's totally fine uh, financially we've got 43 hours and 36 minutes until we go bankrupt now this is the this is potentially part of the problem. I don't know if there is a max loan that I can take out. I mean, I can definitely apply for, for big loans if indeed I want to. I, I'm not convinced that that's something that I actually want to do at this exact moment in time. I think we'll probably manage to, to, be, to be cash flow positive at some point. It's, it's, it's the Air Canada, it's the Air Canada UFO, flying UFO again. It does occasionally happen, does occasionally land. I, I mean, I need more seats. The passenger experience here is not terrible, to be honest, which is kind of nice. I'd be looking to expand, if at all possible. That would be that would be kind of nice. Also, can I grab myself a brand new a brand new passenger bus? I think I might buy a brand new passenger bus at some point because now that we've got a third gate that is used constantly, it's going to be pretty essential to deliver passengers frequently and on time. So I think that that's something that we want to do. Let's wait until let's wait until we've got the uh, got the cash to do it, and then we will and then we will do just that. Because oh yes, I forgot the 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 flights won't actually take effect until tomorrow. So we only need to buy a passenger bus by tomorrow, if that makes sense, which is totally fine. Ticketing is looking totally fine. Security area is looking totally fine. We expanded ticketing as well uh, in the uh, in the last episode, so that is good. I mean, you know, we're making money. We're making money. If I have a little look at my, what is it, profit and loss. Where's the graph? Cash flow graph. Yeah, you can see that, you know, there was one day where we spent $3.6 million. But every subsequent day has actually been, like, quite profitable. Yeah, I mean, you know, fuel-wise, you know, we are 
we are making uh, a decent a decent chunk of change from fuel. I mean, what between four hundred and seventy thousand and eight hundred thousand liters. We've got two fuel trucks refueling constantly. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think that this is completely fine. We'll buy our brand new bus. We probably need to fix up this road here as well. Or maybe we don't. Maybe it'll just work straight up. Give me a apron bus. That's the one. Brilliant. That costs only a, a mere three thousand dollar dues, which is very very cheap for what we're getting. Right, I guess we should probably take a little look at baggage. Okay, so we've got a couple of different things that we need to do. First of all, it's called conveyor, it's not called belt, which is ridiculous, but, you know, whatever. Who am I to judge? Uh, conveyor, that's right, conveyor. Two-way conveyor, no, we just need single-way conveyor. So we've got outputs over here, which is fine. We need to then go conveyor transition down, which needs to be done... What, it needs to be done like here, I guess? Yeah, so do that in there. That goes in there, and then that's gonna come down over there. So this is gonna this is gonna mean that we have that we have this taken down to the bottom level. Then we need to get a baggage hub, and the baggage hub hub to hub. We could move hub to hub. I don't think we want to do that though. I think we want to have Do we want to have um a slot outside to load up the baggage. There are a couple of different bag things that we need to consider. There are a couple of different bag things that we need to consider. A baggage depot, an outdoor endpoint used by tarmac staff that connects to the underground conveyor system. Blue endpoint is outbound only to hubs with attached carousels. Pink endpoint is inbound only from hubs attached to check-in desks, or to ticketing desks. So we need to get a... We need to get a... Uh, we need to get a pink one. We need to get a pink one in order to load up the baggage, right? Invalid placement. It is possible to do over here. Is it possible to do it somewhere a little bit more... A little bit more centrally, I guess? I would kind of be looking to get it between these gates, but I guess that's not a possibility. It's blocked by the aircraft gate. I mean, we could always we could always put it over here. This is a, kind of a central location, actually. Right, so it comes up from the red side. That's cool. Alright, you know what? Let's, um, let's put that in there. Let's stick a baggage depot down in that location. That seems completely fine. It should reduce travel time as well. So that's kind of great. Also, I'm not convinced about these uh, these fuel ports. I don't know if they actually work. I think I should try and link some more fuel ports up, right? So I should link them up to the main infrastructure. There we go. Uh, yeah, let me go back up. And we will upgrade this. We'll get a fuel port. I'm going to stick it down. I don't know where we should stick it down. Stick it down there? Sure. Does that work? Does that mean that the that the fuel trucks don't need to drive out here all the time? That's kind of what I'm hoping for, anyway. Whether that works will remain to be seen. Let's grab some more pipes. And let's pipe it up. Let's pipe it up. So the small the small gates can be the can be the test, and then we can roll out the fuel ports to the large gates if it turns out that the fuel the fuel system works exactly as I anticipate. Right, what are my workers doing and why are they not doing it fast enough? There's a lot of stuff to be there's a lot of stuff to be worked on here. And they ain't they ain't working. Good news is though, good news is is that the ticketing area the ticketing area is looking good. Must be accessible directly or via door. Ticketing desk kiosk. Uh what? Why on earth is this not met? This should absolutely work. Okay, I guess we'll rezone this entirely. Try... Try rezoning his ticketing, please. Ah, okay, perhaps this needs to not be ticketing. If I remove this as ticketing... Okay, so if I remove that as ticketing, then it ends up fixing uh, fixing itself up. Why the heck is the... Is the gosh darn... Is the gosh darn drilling so flippin' loud? Oh, flipping egg. 
Jeez Louise. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but the workers seemingly are, are just drilling with uh, an obscene amount of... An obscene amount of noise. Truly a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of noise. Okay, that's fixed up. That's grand. Uh, kitchen could not fulfill its orders due to missing capabilities. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We need, uh, we need a cooker. We need a cooker at this kitchen. At least three prep carts are recommended. Oh, we need a prep carts? Oh. That's a problem that I, uh, that I didn't really anticipate. Okay. Three prep carts. Sure, video game. You can, you can have your flipping prep carts. What else do we need? Snack kiosk, a cooker. I mean, you know, we could get a cooker, right? We could definitely get a cooker. That makes complete sense. To be honest, I, I thought we had one. But apparently I was I was misinformed. All right, we'll just throw it in there. We should get some more kiosks as well. I mean look, this is gonna be This is gonna be the place. The place to come and get food. So we're gonna do tea cakes. We're gonna get a snack kiosk over here. We're gonna get a sushi kiosk. Sure. And we can get a health food kiosk just like also in the middle here. Flight info kiosk. I'm gonna put some flight info kiosks over here. Sure. I mean that seems that seems pretty darn good. I did say that I wanted to get a travelator up and running. We'll probably get a travelator at some point. Uh, right, so whilst the workers are making a very, very loud noise assembling all of the all of the nonsense, we should head down to the bottom floor. Ah, look, they're building the pipes. They're building the pipes on the same floor as me. Cool, good to note. So, we have got two baggage inputs here. So, before we start with the baggage, we should probably just make sure that we also have our brand new baggage area connected up. So we need to get a conveyor transition down as well. And that tra can that conveyor transition down needs to be... Needs to be over here somewhere. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That's completely fine. I'm completely fine to stick that in this area. Then we need to grab some conveyors. And we literally just need to stick it all the way along. Ooh, too many producers. Limit five. That's kind of a bit of a problem. I didn't really anticipate that being an issue another another producer limit one two three four five okay so that means that we need to get ourselves another another downward another downward transition point conveyor transition that's the one okay so demolish demolish this fence demolish this demolish this demolish this yeah and in fact let's cancel this i would very much like to cancel this project but apparently i'm unable to do such a thing at this moment in time okay the good news is since we're not completely borking up the security area we're not going to end up compromising the secure zone a couple of people have missed their flight is that anything to do with me i don't think so May have been a ticketing issue. May have been a ticketing issue, but uh, but probably wasn't my fault. All right, let's get it sped up. Let's get it sped up, and then let's see if we can try and get some more conveyors in here. Excellent. Okay, so conveyor conveyor transition down. Let's grab blocked by existing conveyor port. Okay, get that in there. Let me pause so that I don't end up completely screwing up my airport whilst I'm trying to fix this up. You know what? I'm just going to get the three next to each other here. Yeah, I know the storage is, is, not, uh, is not an acceptable size, but frankly, the storage can just be moved. The, the storage doesn't need, to be, doesn't need to be around here. Right, so ditch the storage. Literally just make the storage nice and big over there. All right, what else do we need? Do we need something? We need four more. One, two, three, four. Four more retail workers. That is completely fine. All right, back to conveyors. We'll fix the walls in just a second. Don't you worry about the walls. The walls are fine. Also, we should look at doing some more research. I haven't done research in a while. All right, conveyor. Invalid placement, I beg to differ. Okay, 
Let's see if that sort of automatically zones itself. I guess we'll just see. Uh, it's not really worked the way that I wanted it to work. Doesn't look like it overlaps in the correct uh, in the correct manner, but I guess I guess that'll remain to be seen. Uh, we are positive, by the way. We are cash flow positive, which is which is pretty darn excellent. Okay, assign the kitchen. Assign the kitchen. Okay, fine. Assign the kitchen. Brilliant. Assign to kitchen. Brilliant. Whoops, my bad. There are probably rather a lot of people. Probably rather a lot of people who are irritated at this moment in time. About the fact that they can't have, that they can't have their their sushi, because I haven't properly assigned a kitchen. That's why people probably missed their flights because they were waiting in line for sushi. Anyway, let's see if we can try and get this baggage thing online. Once and for all, eh? Let's 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 freaking go. Okay, so this goes. Conveyor down transition. Yeah, wait, hold on. It, it's difficult to see because the, the conveyor belt isn't actually moving at this moment in time, which is which is a bit of a problem. Uh, I need to demolish some... I need to demolish some walls here, or at least I need to build foundations under the ground to at least try and give myself some more space to work with. Okay, uh, yeah, so we'll build, we'll build this, sure, we'll build this, this is, this is completely fine, I, I'm spending a lot of money, I'm going to continue to spend a lot of money, but it needs to get done, it needs to get done, also, this needs to be dismantled, because we don't actually require it anymore, we do not actually require it anymore, cool, and then we can also dismantle, dismantle that, excellent. Okay, so let's wait until the foundations are completed. It's going to take a little while because this is a pretty big infrastructure investment. As uh, as investments go, this is a this is a big this is a big 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 juicy one. That needs to stay there. Yeah, that needs to stay there. Although this needs to stay here for different reasons, to be honest. This this conveyor belt is where the baggage is going to be output, so we need to keep that there. Okay, that needs to get demolished. Or dismantled even. Okay, fine. I was wondering why you were having an issue with that video game. It's a pretty simple. It's a pretty simple order, but apparently the dismantle and the demolish function are completely different. Uh, similarly, we need to dismantle that wall there. I guess we can dismantle all of this wall here too. No point in keeping that around. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. This baggage hub ideally needs to be. So this needs to be producer, this needs to be producer, this needs to be consumer, and this needs to be consumer. Right? So I think that we need three, I, need, I think that we need three separate belts, right? Unless we can simplify it onto one single belt. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build to try and future-proof this. So I'm gonna move this out here. What I mean by future-proofing is that I need to be prepared for the fact that I might not be able to... I might not be able to manage the capacity of three of three of these conveyor transitions on a single belt, but at the same time, it would be absolutely brilliant if we were able to do that. Anyway, so that goes in there like so. Then we go conveyor again. Now, are you just automatically video game gonna give me a uh, goodness gracious me? Are you automatically gonna let me build outside? Cannot build there. Okay, so am I gonna need to build? Am I gonna need to build foundations all the way under here? I have a funny feeling that I may have to do that. Okay, we can deal with 240 bags here every hour, which is, which is kind of remarkable actually. Right. So this is our first test. I need to build a. Are we out of money? Oh, we're out of money because we had to pay our bank balance, or we had to pay our interest on our loan, if I'm not mistaken. All right. That's fine. Look, passenger experience is not too shabby. I feel like I should just crank up my operating fees. I should crank up the flight at uh, the flight of fuel, the price of fuel, and we also paid for fuel. That was that's also why we're why we're doing so poorly. Uh, where's my where's my graph? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we made 
we made 200 grand. We made 200 grand on day 22. That's not that's not too bad. That's fairly respectable, uh, to be honest. I'm I'm not too happy with that. 69 flights. Wow. Okay, that's wonderful, isn't it? Just just the greatest. Okay, so we don't need to faff around with that too too much. We are still paying for buses in the evening. That's fine. I can just about deal with that. We got 48 hours until we go bankrupt, but I'm not anticipating being in this situation for long. Do I want to take out another loan? I mean, I kind of do, but I also kind of don't because, you know, taking out loans just gets me into a worse situation each and every time that I do it. It's a terrible habit. It really is dreadful. The cafe's looking good, though. Kitchen overview. I mean, look, I suspect highly that this kitchen... At least two hot plates recommended for efficiency. I suspect highly, suspect very, very highly that we're not going to be able to satisfy all of the orders. Avocado on toast. We're low on avocado on toast. Those darn millennials are visiting the uh, the health food kiosk. Truly the worst. Okay, uh, give me, 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 give me some more, uh, some more ability to build foundations. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We build. We build foundations, I think, because it has to be foundations that we build here. So we build foundations, and we basically build, like, a super long, a super long and reasonably efficient way to get all the way across to the, to the depot. I think, what is it, a baggage depot? I think that's officially what it's called. Yeah, requires connection from a baggage hub, requires connection to a baggage hub, must be assigned to an aircraft gate. Oh, this is only allowed to be assigned to one aircraft gate. Okay, no, no, it can be assigned to more. All right. That's cool. So it can be assigned to seven at least, which I think is, is completely reasonable. Now, we may have to get two belts, which means that this foundation may have to be doubled up. Uh, one belt can be moved down one layer, which is which has presumably got quite a small capacity. I also want to check to see if we can fit the output of all of these three. Too many producers limit five. This is exactly this is exactly what I thought would occur. Cannot connect to segments like that. I don't want to connect to segments like that. All right, we have to have space in between our belts here. If we have to have space between our belts here, then, then we have to have space between our belts here. I've, I've anticipated this. I've anticipated this. I'm fully prepared and fully ready. Okay. So then we go dismantle. There we go. That's looking good. And then let's get conveyor. I hate that you have to type in the vast majority of the word in order to just see it, but that is what it is. Okay. We'll just build this for now. And then we'll go back to dismantle, dismantle, back to conveyor, type in half the flipping words. Build that in there, build that in there. And then we want to go up. We want to go up just like so. Okay, will this work? Hey, that looks good. That looks really, really good. So we've got the baggage coming in like so. The baggage hub seemingly is sorting it with very, very little issue, which is pretty darn good if you ask me. So maybe we'll get away with just one singular belt there. That's not actually too shabby. Also, I was going to adjust my prices. I was going to adjust my prices, but you know what? I've decided against it. All right, let's double up the foundation size here. The reason that we should double this foundation size up is that we might just be able to, might just be able to do something real sneaky. Real, real sneaky, which is what I'm kind of hoping that we can do. Also, we're in a good, we're in a good financial state at this moment in time. We should maybe think about paying down some of our debt. Certainly, wouldn't be the worst idea that I've ever had, or or maybe it would be actually. I I, I don't actually know. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so let's free up a little bit of extra space here. Get this all demolished. There we go, and then we'll go back to conveyors. I mean, we could get a two-way conveyor belt, to be honest. What about upgrading this to a two-way conveyor belt? Huh. Requires one two-way conveyor. I think that we get a two-way conveyor here. 
I think that we get a, a two-way conveyor. Mm, actually, maybe we don't get a two-way conveyor. The reason why is that I'm not sure that the baggage hub would be able to process the two-way conveyor belts. You know what? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give me a give me a two-way conveyor. Alright, this is this is still very much an experimental situation. Okay, let's see if the baggage depot can handle it. Conveyor type is wrong and cannot be connected that way. Okay, turns out that that is strictly illegal and now we cannot cancel this project. I really dislike the fact that you can't cancel the project. I mean, maybe I can dismantle it before it's... Nope, okay, fine. I guess we just have to let it let it be built. So what's the what's the advantage of using the two the two-way conveyor then? Can I use a one-way conveyor to connect up to a two-way conveyor? Must pass through a hub. I I mean, yeah, no, I I get it. I'm trying to get it to connect to a hub. Okay. All right. The two-way conveyor test has failed miserably. I'm sure we'll end up using the con the two-way conveyor at some point in the future, but you know, for now, whatever whatever video game I probably could have tried a little bit harder to make that work but you know what let's let's not worry about that all right I need to thicken this I need to thicken this up yeah okay you need to really give you need to really give belts a, a wide berth otherwise you'll have issues won't you it looks good though it looks good it looks very very good I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. This looks this looks exceptional. Connected to a fuel pipe pipeline but no networked fuel tanks. What? Did I end up Oh, no video game. Okay, I didn't realize that that was an illegal maneuver. Very very sorry. Can we not build uh, I guess we can't build it on the the very bottom level. All right. Well, we'll get it reconnected. We'll get it reconnected. It's no no big deal. I guess it means that we sell less fuel and therefore we have to buy less fuel at the end of the day, which is going to wipe me out less financially, which is good. Okay, let's get this let's get this connection set up. I'm I'm sick and tired of dealing with baggage. Much like a, a grumpy passenger who's waiting for their bag to be found at some stupidly large international airport i'm i'm upset and i'm grumpy about the fact that this that this situation hasn't been resolved yet sure demolish the walls build foundation there right what we want to do what we want to do here is we actually want to move this over a little bit so here's the reason here's the reason we're going to get a conveyor belt we're going to link this up here Perfect. Then we're going to get the conveyor belt to come down this away. Right? So far, so good, right? So far, so good. Then this is going to go in here. This is actually going to be changed to endpoint 2 is going to be changed to a consumer. Excellent. So that's going to be an input, and that should make it so much easier for the bags to be delivered. Right? The other thing that we could possibly do is that we could maybe stick a baggage hub in here. Huh, I've actually just had a really, really revolutionarily good idea. So I'm going to demolish all of this belt. Or deconstruct it, whatever. Right? Deconstruct all of this belt. Deconstruct all of this belt. Give me another baggage hub. I think that the baggage hub is a really, really powerful tool, actually. If we can make it work, then, then this would be great. Blocked by existing conveyor. Okay, you know what? Give me some more foundation. And we'll expand this. And then this is where this is where the magic is going to happen, folks. Just wait for the magic to unfold before your very eyes. It's going to be remarkable. Okay. Right, so far, so far, everything looks fine. We're making a whole bunch of money. Baggage hub. Excellent. So we grab a baggage hub in here. Perfect. Then we grab conveyors. What's all of the issues that we have? Failed to reserve gate? Really? Okay. There are some serious problems. There are some serious, serious problems in the airport. But I will 
deal with that later. That's a problem. That's a problem for a future potato. Definitely a future potato problem. Okay. Conveyor. I was promised that this music would be chill. I'm sorely disappointed in the chillness of the music. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. This becomes a consumer. Right. So, if you didn't know, there are three different types of modes that are available on the baggage hub. And I'm just learning to, to, to come to terms with all of them. So, we've got the consumer mode. So, anything that is going to a gate is a consumer. Anything that is coming from a gate is a producer. And H2H, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm assuming is hub to hub. And so, therefore... Therefore, okay, two-way conveyor, I guess. Okay, sure, we use two-way two conveyor for this. I'm fine using two-way conveyor for a hub-to-hub -hub transfer. Doesn't actually need to go in there. It just needs to go in here. And then this one, conveyor endpoint, which was a consumer, cannot become hub-to-hub. -hub. That's the one. Brilliant. Okay, so that becomes... That becomes hub-to-hub. -hub. So we use two-way conveyor for hub-to-hub -hub transport. Fine. Okay, so we've got all of our inputs. We've got all of our inputs coming into this baggage hub. It's all being sent onto this baggage hub, and then it's all being sent onwards. Brilliant. This, this area over here, now needs to be set up to accommodate... To accommodate this. So this is hub-to-hub. -hub. I need to change... I need to change this to a producer, so that's output, yep. Then we go conveyor. And then this comes up here. And it's literally that simple. We've got ourselves a baggage claim, we've got ourselves a baggage drop-off. I think that that should work pretty much everywhere. Yeah, look, we've now got a flipping baggage carousel. We've still got a couple of... We've still got a couple of trucks driving around. But to be honest, no big deal there at all. Pretty darn happy with that, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty That looks pretty good. That looks pretty flippin' good. The baggage carousel is, is looking very, very fine at this moment in time. Look, video game. Thank, thank you. I appreciate the, the music, but that was not chill. That wasn't even slightly chill. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's working. It's flippin' working. Uh, I do worry that perhaps we are a little bit over capacity with the number of bags that we can technically sort, but, you know, that's fine. This is much more chill. Chill vibes. We've also got 1.2 million. There are still flights that are being cancelled. Baggage load. Do I need more baggage cars? Is that what I'm- is that what I'm after? I think that that's what I'm after. Baggage car, baggage car, baggage car, baggage car. Okay. Let's immediately have all of the baggage cars dispatched. Okay. I think we need at least one baggage depot. I think we need at least one baggage car for each gate, I should say. Yeah. Do we need to do much fueling? I don't know if we need to do much fueling, to be honest. This is looking this is looking smooth though. This is looking real 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 smooth. An idle fuel truck. Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay, let's wait until the end of the evening. How much fuel do we have in reserve still? We've got 1.1 million liters. So we're going to end up spending a good chunk of change on buying fuel for tomorrow. But that's fine. That is fine. Look at this. We are we are doing very very well. This this flipping baggage depot is is great actually look at that it's looking excellent look at the the carousel it's looking really really good i really really like the baggage hub system to be honest yeah i really 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 like this this is this is very very cool yeah look this gets two thumbs up for me this gets two two big things things uh, thumbs up for me this is this is excellent honestly a medium hanger a medium hanger over here would be would be pretty darn rad. Um, I don't think that we're gonna stick anything else in this in this zone here. Maybe we could fit a no. We can't fit a large hanger in here. We can fit a medium hanger in here. 
All right, fit a medium hanger in here. Maybe see if we can fit two small hangers in there. Yeah, excellent. Okay, you know what? We fit a medium hanger in there. Man, the fact that that is not on center is going to irritate me to no end. I got to dismantle that. We got to dismantle. We got to go for a rebuild. Conveyor transition garbage bin. It's fine. All right, medium hanger. Medium hanger. And that gets plonked down there. Okay, so we'll assign some more vehicles. We'll grab some baggage cars. We need seven, I think, right? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, G, that's seven letters. We've got seven gates. Okay, so we don't actually need any of the, the medium hanger capacity. We've done it with the small hanger, just like that. But that's completely fine. This is looking, this is looking really, really good. Okay, so this is, like, gonna help us out with the... You know the the sort of capacity issues that we that we were having should help with the speed of baggage that's right potato remember how to say baggage very very important to do right i'm also going to see if we can try and repay some of our loan here because we we got to day 25 and we still have we still have plenty of money right i also just had an achievement come in because an airplane was apparently managing to land in uh, 20 knot winds, which is quite incredible, actually, given the circumstances, but there you go. Okay, one single baggage depot is apparently completely fine. Yeah, we got a lot of bags to pick up. How are things doing? How are things doing underneath here? I'm perhaps a little bit worried. I'm a little bit concerned. A little bit concerned that maybe we don't have enough baggage output capacity. All right, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to dismantle this. I really wish I could see what endpoint this is. Oh, I can just change it right here. Okay, we'll change that to a producer. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make it slightly easier. Conveyor. Just learn to type in the whole flipping word potato. Right, so that's what we're going to do right over there. We're also going to end up constructing a little bit of additional foundation over here. It's pretty darn important that we make sure that the that the output belt has, has got enough capacity to deal with the carousel up on the top floor. So that's fine. Carousel from below. Give me another carousel from below. Carousel from below. Excellent. Blocked by pending construction. Don't even worry about it. We're on it. And that goes in there like so. I think that's I think that's it, right? Uh, I think I've done this the wrong way around, haven't I? I built the carousel on this level. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, you idiot. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I see how it is. You're stupid. All right, where are all these flights going missing? There's definitely like some. There's definitely some issues. Blocked by fence or nearby wall. Fine. Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay. So you failed to reserve a gate. Have we got any delays? I don't think we've got any delays. Nine passengers en route. Yeah, okay. There are maybe some security checkpoint delays. All right. Time to expand security. We cannot have we cannot have delays of this magnitude occurring. No sorry. Alright, we'll grab some more security gates. Yeah. There's probably a good ratio that we need to try and that we need to try and enforce. I don't know what that ratio is, but it's gonna be a ratio of bag scanners to, to gates or to, to plane size or passengers or something. Right. Then we head down, and then what I want to do. Now it's suddenly all becoming clear why I built this extra foundation, eh? Grab conveyors. And then this, since this is already a producer, eh, we can just build up here. Fine, we'll schedule the bits that we can build right now. All right. You see, there's too much, there's too much being output on this one belt, so we need to get we need to get more capacity. We need to get more capacity either by getting a secondary hub or, as I'm doing right now, is buying uh, an additional an additional conveyor and an additional carousel system. Get that set up and that should hopefully fix our fix our capacity issues. 
Yeah, pretty chuffed with that, actually. Pretty darn chuffed with that. Okay, dismantle this. Zone this as additional security. Okay, now the whole thing is... Security. We get a bag scanner. Remote security station. I mean, can we do this? Sure. We'll we'll get that in place. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, loads of these things. I have no idea how much they cost. Not that much, I don't think. Not usable in that position. I beg to differ, but whatever. Okay, remote security station. Requires researching advanced security. Okay, well, why don't we see if we can do that, eh? Advanced security seems fine. Ability to assign ID check stands to bag scanners. Yeah, okay, so that would be that would be pretty darn good to do. But for now, we'll just have to hire more security staff. I don't know. We hire up to, like, 44 or something. Probably going to be more than that, but that's fine. At least for now. Three more baggage scanners. Okay. We still need three more staff. One, two... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, so that should immediately, immediately dislodge all of the... All of the issues that we have uh, in the security area. We'll get this area floored as well, so that we can tell that it's the security area. Let's repay a good amount of this uh, of this loan. I am surprised that I'm managing to pay back pretty consistently my outstanding loan. This is very surprising. We only have a hundred thousand in loan left. That's remarkable, actually. That is remarkable. Okay, here's what I want to do now. Okay, here's what I want to do. Okay, I'm, I'm bankrupt. Uh, not really. Not really. Not even close. Here's what I want to do. So we, we unlocked in the last episode, we unlocked one-way one way paths, right? One-way paths. That was a thousand, my thousandth flight, by the way. Fun fact, the video game just notified me of it through an achievement, which is very, very nice indeed. I don't really want to take out a loan quite yet. I think that we can sustain ourselves until morning. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to set up a one-way path. I want to set up a one-way path, ideally with one of those travelator escalator things, you know, like the horizontal the horizontal things that when you walk on them, you feel like you're you're walking at like a billion miles an hour. Anyway, we need like an output area to spit people back out into the non-secure zone. Because at the moment everyone is just walking through here and it looks kinda it looks kind of jank, to be honest. It looks kind of jank, so we're going to get it fixed up. What I'm planning to do is build a big foundation down here as soon as we have the cash. Big foundation over here. Uh, and then we're going to direct everyone to come down here, across here, on a travelator, escalator thing, and uh, spit them out basically at the baggage claim. It's that simple. It's that simple. Also, today's the day where we're going to fix our PA amplifier. We've got a single PA amplifier system. Yeah, we can't connect it up to that PA amplifier because that PA amplifier already has a whole bunch of connections. Right, how is this How is this chef managing? Probably not very well. There's a lot of revenue to be had there. A lot of revenue to be had. We, we need a bigger kitchen, to be honest, don't we? Yeah, we really do. This is kind of obscene. The queues. The queues are ridiculous. The queues are absolutely ridiculous. Refuel chance, 100%. Okay, so we actually need to bump up our prices just a little bit. 24 out of 80 flights. You know what? Let's max out. Let's max out the, uh, the fuel price. I think that that's reasonable. The reason that I think that that's reasonable is that we don't have that much refueling capability. I wish I could assign low fuel prices over here, since this doesn't take much effort to do. It doesn't take much effort to refill these gates here, because they've all got the uh, the fuel ports. These these gates are a little bit harder to refuel. Also, they're bigger planes, so I presume that they take more fuel. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's an assumption too far, though. Either way, security area is looking good. The baggage area, I think, is looking fine. I think we're just about managing to sort all of the bags. We're 
we're almost over capacity at some times. You can see that there's a little bit of a backlog in some of the bags entering the hub. I don't think that that's something that we have to deal with quite yet, although it, it very well may be at some point. I'm surprised that I honestly haven't crested the uh, the debt mark yet. I was kind of anticipating... I was kind of anticipating having more money than than this at this stage of the game, but that's fine. Did I buy an extra bus, by the way? Did I? I think I did buy a third bus. I think I've got three buses. I definitely have three buses. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Just checking. Three buses is fine. We we don't need more. We don't need more than three buses. Three buses is, is absolutely, absolutely perfect. All right. How much fuel do we still have in storage? 1.4 million liters. That's honestly more than I was anticipating having at this stage. But that's completely fine. Okay. Now we're starting to make money. Now we're starting to make money. That is that is very, 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 very good indeed. Okay. So. Next thing that I want to do. By the way, I should point out that I have, I have not yet... I have not yet built up to a second or third or fourth or fifth or whatever. I've not built up to an additional floor. I've built down, but only for baggage stuff. Baggage stuff is probably going to remain on the bottom floor, I would hasten to add. Almost certainly. Okay, so I'm looking for like a security... Like a security exit? Yeah, a non-secure boundary. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty great, actually. Okay, so we're gonna stick in like a bunch of uh, a bunch of non-secure boundary areas over here, or indeed over here. But I kind of want this area to be like the big terminal area. I feel like maybe this is worth taking a loan out for. You know, I basically just want to zone this entire area as a terminal. You know what? Let's take out a little bit of a loan. Give me a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan. Zero point seven four percent interest rate. Don't mind if I do video game. That is. A very, very good rate of interest. I'll take that any day of the week. Okay. Then we go Travelator, I think it's called. Ugh, what's it called? What the heck is it called? I have I have literally no idea what the heck it's called. Also, we should uh, we should get a bar. We should get a bar in here. Let's get a bar in here. Nice. Okay, utilities, fuel depot, baggage depot, show wires, no, queues, planning, no, I don't need any of that, I don't need a zone, I literally just need something from an object. Car parking lot? Oh my gosh, we don't even have a, we don't even have a car parking lot yet. Can you actually believe that? That's a little bit, that's a little bit hard to believe. Okay. But what the heck is it actually called? I've definitely seen it. I've definitely, definitely seen it. A newsstand? Okay, I didn't even realize that we could get a newsstand, but you know what? I want to leave this area free, because I'm almost certain that we're going to end up expanding our kitchen at some point. Pharmacy display C. Pharmacy display B. Pharmacy display A. It's a little bit it's a little bit jank at the moment, but that's okay. A shoe display. Okay, we need to we need to make like shops, proper shops. Maybe I was going crazy. Maybe I didn't see a travelator thing. Yeah, I mean, maybe I didn't see one. Body scanner, we need advanced security for that. Okay, maybe I didn't, honestly. Right, do we require must be in a functional store? Okay, yeah. I kind of felt like it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheat to try and do that. What do we need? Two more retail workers? Fine. Two more retail workers, that's great. Okay. We had two missed flights today. Two missed flights today. That is that is absolutely it. So let's get security exit here. Security exits all the way along here. And then we're literally just going to deconstruct this. Actually, I don't think I can cancel that. Oh, I can cancel this. So there's a way to say, why don't we just put security exits 
at the other end. Might kind of limit our ticketing area a little bit, but I think that that's okay. Right, security exit. I think that is I think that is a better way of doing things. Gives us more space in the terminal building. Because I want to get shops. I want to get shops pretty much everywhere. Okay. Dismantle that, dismantle that, dismantle that. Alright. I'm gonna put in a one a one way path. So that's one way. Is the security area breached? I don't think that the security area should be breached. Secure areas? Brilliant. Secured by security zone? Excellent. That is brilliant. Also, we're going to need some more toilets at some point. How the heck do I exit out of this? There we go. Uh, we're going to need some more toilets at some point. That is... It's, it's almost a certainty. Look at the... Look at the mess here. This is... This is ridiculous. We got far too few, far too few, too few toilet stalls there. All right, so now we've got a a definite flow here. This is much nicer. This is much nicer. So the security zone is now going is now just going forwards, which is great. To be honest, we could actually get some baggage claims over here. It's entirely possible in the future as we expand we could get the baggage claims in this in this vicinity i don't think that there's any rule about having the baggage claims in secure areas on the contrary it's probably better that they're in secure areas maybe i don't know i don't really have an opinion on this these flights were from yesterday so that's fine i mean look things are things are very very good things are very very good we haven't looked at our grants in a while Build five stores, two first-class lounges, high-end stores, uh, items to have double purchase chance. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty important. 600 passengers at once, we've done that. Airline services. Uh, increase the overall airline interest to 70%. I mean, price sensitivity, passenger satisfaction, airport facilities, and more. I'm, I'm working on that. I'm working on that video game. I, I have a funny feeling that doing something with shops is is what we're after. Profitable facilities earn 600 from advertising. So do we, what, have, need a billboard or something? Add for... How do I, how the heck do I, do I earn from advertising? Oh, also, I did say that I was going to sort out my PA amplification system. Uh, apparel stand. Yeah, where the heck? How the heck do I do advertising? I have absolutely zero idea. Digital ad display? Okay, it's probably that. Like, what is a digital ad display? Oh, it's literally just one of those, like, cubicle things. I say cubicle things. Cool. Alright, I mean, that's gonna make us, like, an obscene amount of money, presumably. And that will almost certainly get us the grant pretty darn, pretty darn quickly. Have a net profit of at least 50000 at the end of a full day, excluding grants income. To be honest, we're not far off that either. We're not far off that either at all. Revenue yesterday. I tell you what. Digital ad stand. Look, we... That's right. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that feels, that feels, that feels good. <laughs> I mean, that is brilliant. So they have to, they have to walk through a maze of digital ad stands in order to get to the exit. Oh boy. You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. Oh, that is incredible. That is incredible. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make a lot. We're gonna make a lot from ads. 600, 600 bucks a day from ads. I guess we'll see exactly how many we uh, we end up making. It's gonna be a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is brilliant. That is incredible. Truly incredible. Okay, we are we're in we're in the money. We are absolutely in the money. Let's pay off my loan. 
pay off my loan here. I've got a very, very good credit score, which is very, very nice indeed. Credit inquiries. I basically just need to make fewer credit inquiries in order to max out my loan. Or in order to max out my credit score, I should say. Which, in turn, max out, uh, maxes out the rate of interest that I get. Is that a full is that a full house today? Did we manage to accommodate each and every flight? I think that we might have managed to accommodate each and every flight. Let's get an amplifier. Amplifier HD. Let's do it. Let's get a big old big old amplifier. And then we'll get it connected up to all of the systems around the around the airport. Okay. Give me, give me the grants. 600 a day from advertising. We're about to get it. We're about to get it. I can, I can smell it. Profit and loss. Okay, so where does advertising come in? Uh, retail? To come in and retail? Retail income? Uh, okay, 35, 35 grand over the course of a day. Very, very nice. Bank loan repayment. Not a big deal. Fuel, no terminal, terminal usage. This is terminal usage by the by the airlines. Infrastructure, no. I mean, it's it's an income. It's an income, right? So it must be it must be in retail. But I guess since we haven't actually got, since we haven't actually got it yet, right? Does it show up now? No. We still haven't got it yet. Revenue yesterday? Do I need to sign... Do I need to sign something? Also, I just got another achievement. Board 6,000 passengers in a 24-hour period. It's pretty respectable. Failed to reserve gate. One, one flight did manage to fail yesterday. Not entirely sure why that was the case. Revenue yesterday, 1,000 bucks. Okay, so we absolutely made that, right? Yeah, we totally did. Okay, so it just took a little while to calculate. Either way, does that show up in my in my, in my my bank account now? I mean, it obviously shows up in my bank account, but... Today, day 27. Uh, so where did... Yeah, advertising fees. Okay, so it's its own line. We made 4,500 bucks from advertising yesterday. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Have a net profit of at least 50 grand at the end of a full day. I mean, yeah, we've done that already. We've done that already. So that is two out of the five tracks completed, which is pretty darn good. Pay off any loans, wait seven days. I'll take that. I'll take that because we, we don't need... Uh, we don't need cash at this moment in time. We're totally fine for cash. Cannot accept more than two grants at a time. What grants have I got in play at the moment? We've got the investments one, which I... Which I just took on. Uh, airline services increase the overall airline interest to 70%. Oh yeah, I needed to get more stores in order to do that. So what do I what do I do for a store? So a store, minimum size of five by five. Okay, you know what? Let's go for like a let's go for like an eight by eight, an eight by eight over there. An 8 by 6 over here. And then basically just want to divide this in two. Yeah. In fact, do we need walls? I don't actually think that we need walls. I was... I got rid of three chunks in the middle there because I don't think that we... Because I thought that we did need walls, but we don't actually need walls. Okay. Let's buy some cash registers. Right. Now, I always mess up the way that this should be implemented okay three cash registers at the back cool requires any product to sell so i guess we should have like a pharmacy a pharmacy display or a couple of pharmacy displays here sure i mean that looks pretty looks pretty barren to be honest so let's let's plop down a couple more displays, shall we? Yeah, I mean that's not too bad. Okay, you have a stock of zero products. Yeah, it's kinda not my fault. Buy three members of staff. Cool. I don't think that we can assign the cash register to anywhere. 
to be honest. But now we've got a pharmacy store, which is kind of nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at all of this, this ad revenue. Oh, it's juicy. It's juicy. Okay, let's connect to PA speakers over here. How many can we actually assign at max? I think we can still assign more PA speakers. I just want to connect the unconnected ones at this moment in time. All right. Give me some more PA speakers. PA speaker two ways. Bi-directional speaker that broadcasts sound in two different directions. Fine. All right. That seems that seems totally fine. Either way, we get a couple of additional PA speakers set up. There we go. Right in there, right in there. One, two more. And that will be and that will be it for the HD amplifier, which I think is probably at capacity or if it's not at capacity, it's going to be pretty close to capacity. I don't know how many inputs it can actually handle, but I mean 8 seems like a good place to stop, right? Yeah. This is looking this is looking really really good. Okay, I want to get some flooring. Floor, let's get some let's get some nice floor here. Get some nice floor for these two tiles. Uh, for these two tiles for these two shops. Excellent. Decorative flooring plus 5% movement. You know what? Let's get some decorative flooring just throughout the entirety of the terminal. You know, we've got we've got flooring money. That's that's how well we're doing. We have flooring money. There we go. And what what's this type of floor here? Floor 6. Sure, let's just zone this entire area as floor 6. Absolutely fine with that. I did say that I wanted to get a... That I wanted to get a conference room at some point in this episode. That has... Not really worked out as intended. Oh, can I get a second input here? Hold up. Road. Locked by fence or wall. Ah. Okay, I want to get a second. I want to get a second road here. Two more. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff coming in here. Okay, let me see if I can try and get a fence. Let's see if I can try and get this fence moved back. There we go. Wonderful. We'll get this fence demolished over here. Brilliant. Okay, so we don't have any loans. We don't have any loans. We have got two million in the bank. We are charging the airlines an arm and a leg to land here. To be honest, can we just push airline interest up in this airport by decreasing by decreasing fees? Is that entirely possible? Commercial pricing. Uh, let me reduce the price of landing. Save new prices. Is that gonna is that gonna tweak things? You must wait 12 hours to change again. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll see if the we'll see if adjusting the uh, the runway fees makes makes any difference. Why are my workers having such difficulty? Oh, they're having such difficulty because they've just completely revamped the entirety of the terminal, and now it looks fantastic. Is that not incredible? Right, bump that up to urgent. Bump that up to urgent as well. We don't want to compromise the security zone. We've compromised the security zone before. And it, it's worked miserably. Okay. So hopefully we still have we still have a secure zone. Also, what's the range of the PA speakers? Ah, okay. So the range of the PA speakers is pretty disappointing. The environmental overlay. Okay, people hate looking at ads. Who the heck knew that? Secure zone. Okay, we don't actually have a secure zone at the moment. Look at this. Okay. I was really hoping that that wouldn't be the case. But, uh, okay. Apparently it is. Build road here. 
build fence. Oh, it's blocked by the large hangar. Is there any way that we can fix this? I don't think so. I don't think so. People are just going to walk to their flipping flights. Can you believe that? I mean, we can't build a road here, but we kind of have to. Require a secure area. Show non-secure path. Yeah. I know. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, okay. Assign vehicles. So apron bush. And then we have like a whole bunch of baggage cars. What I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sell all of these trucks and then I'm going to dismantle. The reason that I would like to dismantle is that I have to get a fence in here. Like I don't have I don't have a choice with where I put this road and we need to increase the capacity of our road whether it, you know, now or at some point later down the road. <laughs> later down the road. Okay, so everyone is just flooding into the airport, which is terrible. Somebody please take this hangar apart. Okay. Then rebuild the fence. Excellent. Then just get two medium hangers. Honestly, medium hangers are probably better for our needs anyway. There we go. Two medium hangers. That's entirely reasonable. This fence is urgent priority. Let's get it done. The fuel depot. Let's dismantle the fuel depot. There we go. And then we grab ourselves, what What did we need? Baggage car, baggage car, baggage car. Excellent. The security of the area has been restored. Brilliant. And then we get baggage car and a fuel truck, I think. No, apron bus and yeah, screw it. We'll get another fuel truck. Okay, so that's just about, just about what we need. We don't actually need that second... We didn't actually need the second medium hangar over here. We've already got an empty hangar over there, but that's fine. Completely fine. Okay, garbage zone, pick up. I mean, everything is going to get demolished over here. It needs to be demolished. We need to demolish absolutely everything. Or at least we need to demolish everything in a width of two wide. And we need to go over here. We need to dezone everything over here. We're just going to basically move everything back. It's literally that simple. The game may have a couple of issues, but look, it'll be fine. Dumpster. Dismantle the dumpster. And give me some more roads. Cool. Right. Then the fence is moved, like, over here, I guess. It's fine enough. And we'll dismantle that fence in just a second. Pickups needs to be rezoned. Pickups needs to be rezoned. Just needs to be larger, actually. Drop-offs. I don't actually think that drop-offs needs to technically be rezoned, because it's already large enough, but we'll make it a little, a little bigger just for the sake of it. Uh, yeah, I also need to get a car park. I also need to get a car park. Pickups also needs to be over here. Pickups needs to be zoned a little bit larger garbage needs to be zoned a little bit larger. Okay, I don't actually know if this is going to make any difference to the amount of traffic that we're going to be able to deal with. I hope that we will be able to, but I'm just not sure. Is it called a crosswalk? It's called a crosswalk. Build a crosswalk over here. See if that makes any difference. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Delivery zone. I'm happy for the delivery zone to be in there. We'll grab ourselves a dismantle dismantle over there. Grab ourselves a road. And then we'll just head all the way down to the exit over here. What is this? Invalid placement blocked by something. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't, don't want to buy the land. Blocked by nearby fence or wall. Ah, that was, that was a little, a little wrong offense. Fine. Okay, so does that, does that work? Does that work? Are we, are we good? I hope that that's going to give us additional capacity. I have no idea if it actually will. Because, of course, trucks are still going to have to cross across the, the road in order to get to where they need to go. Tell you what. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Temporarily, 
fight. I say temporarily. Do I maybe want to see if I can get, like, a, a car park on, like, an upper level? Give me a road ramp up. Invalid entrance position. What does this mean? Invalid entrance position. Requires ground floor. Oh, requires ground floor. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you, video game. Um, you know what? I feel like we should have, like, a second floor car park here. So give me... Give me something like this. We'll do a road ramp up here. Actually, move it back just a smidge. Dismantle that. Road ramp up. Does that want to work? I have absolutely no idea how this is supposed to work. Build more? I guess we could always have underground parking. Because that definitely does work. Invalid entrance position. Okay, you know what? We're going to have underground parking. Screw it. We're going to have underground parking. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay, underground parking it is. We got a road. We got a road ramp that goes down. We're going to bring the road out here. That's fine. Works for me. And we're going to car parking lots. Sure, just give me give me some more road over here. It needs to all be zoned as foundation, which makes it a little bit more expensive. But of course it does. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? I got plenty of cash, though. Let's splash 200k on some foundations for a, a parking lot. Dismantle, dismantle all the foundations over here, and then we're going to be good to go. What does a parking lot do? Well, it allows you to park your car, and silly. No, but seriously, what does it actually do in the context of this, this here video game? Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. Alright. Maybe we need some more workers. I feel like we can sustain a larger workforce, to be honest. Almost certainly we can. Alright, come on. We're almost there. Wonderful. And we'll get car park. So then this goes over here, over here, over here. I don't actually know if we need road in the middle here. I'm assuming that we do. Oh, but of course, that doesn't work. Uh, there's no road entry connection. <sighs> right, what about that? Does that work a little bit better? And try the old dismantle. We'll dismantle all of that. These car parks definitely work. Car parking lot. There we go. Will that work a little bit better? Rad? No. Road. Thank you. Strange, but yes, it does work. It does work a little bit better. Excellent. That's looking That's looking really, really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll grab a couple more car parks or car parking lots as they are referred to in this video game. And I don't think that I'm going to add an extra an extra bit, but that's fine. A uh, parking lot has no exit. Don't even worry about it, video game. I'm I'm on it. Okay, so the fence needs to be adjusted to go like there. Fine. And we're going to dismantle this fence over here, which may cause a security issue. No doubt some people will try to run around. But we'll fix that up real quick. We'll grab ourselves a whatchamacallit. It's a, a road up. Road ramp up. Road ramp up. Okay, cool. That's that's exactly what we're after. It's actually just a little bit outside the 
fenced area that I was looking to to cover, but that's that's fine. Dismantle all of that. Back to road. And then reconnect. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. As soon as the road is built, we should be we should be absolutely grand. It looks a little bit a little bit daft. I mean, maybe we could get like a parking lot up here as well, just to sort of complete things and make it look a little bit a little bit better. But you know, for a for an experimental parking lot, I'm I'm not too displeased with it. Let me just check to make sure that my loan situation is okay. Credit score is just about maxed out, which is excellent. Really, really happy. Look at that. We've actually got some cars that are parking. Uh, also. Okay, try that. Does that, uh, does that fix things up? No connection to reaching the despawn point. Ooh, yeah, what happens to people once they're, once they're trapped in here? That's a, that's a great question, actually. Right, give me some sidewalk. Man, it's very, very, very overtly American-centric game, isn't it? I need, like, an escalator thing. That's what I need. Escalator. Okay, or stairs. Stairs work, too. Stairway up. Nearby placement or wall. Blocked by car parking lot. Okay, you know what? All right, I was about to I was about to get rid of this, but it's fine. We'll just build a little bit more foundation. That's okay. We know where we're aiming for. We're aiming for like over here. Uh, we probably need to just move the fence around a little bit too. This is turning into a little bit of a jaggedy, fancy nightmare. But it's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it in just a sec. Dismantle, dismantle that. I don't actually think that we need this area now. If I've cleaned up the, if I've cleaned up the above ground, we should be probably fine. Yep. So that goes in there. Wonderful. The stairs appear here. Bada bim, bada boom. We got it. We got a, we got an underground car park. We actually have a legitimate underground car park that people were using even before they. Even before they realized that they could. Okay, dismantle, dismantle this. Okay, now people can't get back to their cars. There was a there was a window there where the going was good. Okay. Now people should be able to use the uh, the stairway appropriately. I mean, look, I'm very, very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. I have no idea how many car parking slots we need. But it seems like we've got an appropriate number, right? The air, the aircraft, the aircraft, the aircraft themselves are doing are doing not too shabbily. Uh, we've only got 59% airline interest. We're gonna have to improve that, but we're gonna have to improve that in the next episode. I've had far too much fun this episode. One hour and 17 minutes of pure joy. Things are looking really, really great now. We actually have a proper functioning airport. It's just good. It's just good, solid airport larks. Truly, truly the greatest. Ladies and gents, thank you as ever for watching this episode of Sim Airport. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash Obito Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.